The sun is shining off houses that are higher up. So we know it's coming very soon. It's amazing all the good resolutions yesterday to try and do some filming from sites and it's equally amazing how <laughs> it was impossible for me. Yesterday we went to Emeos Nicopolis which is underneath the, the hills on the way up to Jerusalem one site for that memory of the gospel story which is furthest away from Jerusalem. There are actually three different sites that claim this or a fourth one that makes a literary claim but is dismissed easily by most people and this site is a, a Byzantine period archaeology plus actually tombs, Jewish burials from a century or two before Christ and through the first century. You can even go into those ancient tombs and really understand a little bit also about that practice. There are actually a lot of tombs around the Jerusalem area as well and I'm sure in many other places. The earlier ones are from the Maccabean period, which we saw yesterday. And then we went on to Jaffa, an ancient port town, almost 4,000 years old, historically uh, documented, where Jonas also left from the land on the ship to escape God's call to be a, a, a missionary. And a missionary to the city of Nineveh and then an important town for the beginnings of Christianity because of the resurrection of Tabitha by Peter and there we have fog I haven't seen fog for a long time but actually you know it's very chilly here this morning because of uh, the height we're at and I haven't felt this kind of chill <laughs> for, for a long time since the spring. And and it's also his Peter's vision of the cloth coming down from heaven that's related in the Acts of the Apostles. And that's in a preparation for the encounter with Cornelius and his family in Caesarea, where we finished up, which is also the location of the prison where Paul was, a major poor town built by Herod the Great. And although there were so many places, especially at sunset when we finished the closing of the of this wonderful uh, ten days of pilgrimage with the mass at the Roman theater in Caesarea and the closing act of the evening and then the trip back to here to Betjala and I just couldn't have the opportunity to do a video even though I had so many there was such a sunset moment at Caesarea that was absolutely gorgeous but the pilgrims were in goodbye mood saying goodbye to everybody and they want to be taking pictures and there's a lot of emotion and on the bus on the way back um, there was another priest with me he was a chaplain to students at the Anahuac University and he uh, what would you call it he emceed uh, an event of sharing experiences from the 10 days and only about half they, uh, they, 
with us was able to share their experiences. They were so emotional, so powerfully filled with grace and light and delight and thanksgiving to God and to the whole, uh, all the participants of the, of the uh, experience that um, it was amazing. It was just absolutely amazing. Uh, we, with the trip went like five minutes. It was almost two hours and it was over so quickly. There's a moving piece of artwork here, and this this is an I think this is an elevator tower. What I'm not sure if it's an elevator tower. It might be for the for the hotel. Yeah, it looks like that. So here we are today, saying goodbye to Bejala. We're scheduled to leave in a couple of hours for Magdala. So we'll be back to a bit more normal sunrise stroll and chat environment, the reflections on the Sea of Galilee, God willing. And today's readings are interesting because I just relate them now also to, to the experience of the pilgrimage uh, of this uh, encounter 2023, the first of 10 on the way to 2033 for the 2000th anniversary of Jesus' death and resurrection. It is um, an interesting thought. We have the parable of the mustard seed, a small little seed that's sown and it becomes such an incredible source of, of bounty and life for, for a lot of God's creatures. And all the seeds that were sown in these 10 days, the stories of the, of the people in the bus yesterday were amazing. Absolutely what they shared, the, the impact this has had on their lives, absolutely extraordinary. You could see, for some of them, it was a true exodus, a major renewal. And yet we look at the first reading today and we see how people who experienced a true exodus, which gave the name to Exodus in the book in the Bible, are making a golden calf. And we see there how fickle the human heart is how challenged we are as human beings to persevere in times of trial, to persevere in the challenges of life, to persevere in the trials and patience. We need patience to, to uh, wait for God's fulfillment in our lives. And we have the temptation to look for another solution. Praying for hope, for love, for, for goodness. And what do we get? We get a big temptation to fix it ourselves. And we do have a role, obviously but not an alternative to God's kingdom, God's dominion, God's love in our lives, dealing with the trials and challenges. So there we have those two big things, two big messages. And the beautiful Psalm today, I'm sure that could be a great prayer for all the pilgrims going back. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. It's interesting to see how Psalm 106 is such a contemplation by God's people of their history with all its ups and downs. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Let me leave it like that. I won't say I'm freezing, but it's... <laughs> It's very chilly right now. And I know going back to, um, to Magdala, it's going to be very warm. You know, we're probably close to the height of Jerusalem here. We're probably at this particular point, maybe 700 meters 
above sea level and those houses 800 meters above sea level and they did magnet we're minus 200 plus meters below sea level so basically a kilometer of height difference makes a, a change in the temperature so god bless you people see you later alligators pray for us pray for all these kids for their perseverance pray for them they need the they need the support now i know I've, we had some kids that were over 75 years old <laughs> 75 years young and they did all the pilgrimage it's amazing 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 god bless you all